what's up fam welcome back to the channel what's up my cousins so we are in south carolina right now this is where i am from not where i live at currently but we're here visiting and we're about to go into this aldi this particular aldi does or did have security guard posted in the front and sometimes outside so i'm not sure if they still do we're going to see if they do, we're gonna see the prices in here, if they have any food limits, what is the store looking like right before the new year, right at the end of the new, of this year and into the new year. So let's go in and see what is taking place. Continue to stock up, get the items that you need. Even if you're not a prepper, get extra items of the things that you use on a daily basis so if you're ever hit with an emergency like severe weather whether it's snow tornado hurricane whatever have items in your home you guys it is so 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 important i need to get back to telling you guys that even though people don't like when i do that they say i'm spreading fear i'm causing people to panic by we are not living in fear we're living in preparedness and in being prepared it will keep us from fearing those things that we know we can control when you don't have the things that you need in your home and emergency happens things are out of control and you have no say in what is taking place You guys, eggs have gone up in Aldi. They are $4.43. <sighs> a dozen. Milk is still about the same, $3.31, $3.21. The shelves over here don't look that bad. And I'm again, I'm here to show you whether it's empty or whether it is full and if the prices have gone up or not. Here is the toilet paper. You have, how many rolls is this? Three, six, what? 12 rolls for $11. This one is $19.99. Paper products, they don't look that bad. Just some gaps here and there. I'm just glad I'm not playing music that way I can talk while I'm recording. So here's some liquid bleach for $4.99. And it's not even the name brand bleach, you guys. So those prices are high. As well as this laundry detergent right here is $8.99. The gain is 10.94 and it is only 92 fluid ounces so over here we have the fruit dollar 25 dollar 28 uh, the cups are 239 the applesauce is 195 they do have some cherries in here I don't see a price on those. You can still get stewed tomatoes for 79 cents. They got the bigger can for $1.29. They do have some cans for 85 cents. So you can still find some things under $1 in here. So I definitely will be, um, I don't really need any more fruit, but I will have to make a list. I do know I need some pork and beans and I've tried these Dakota beans over here because I don't mind having generic brand, but if it doesn't taste right and my kids won't eat it, then it is a waste of my money, no matter how cheap it is. So these I will not be buying, but I do have to stock back up on pork and beans. So they have Vienna sausages, one can for 64 cents, and they have these uh, sardines in a can for 95 cents. Cans of chili, they do have the ham up top for 
Um, the fully cooked bacon, y'all, is $3.25. I think that's cheaper than Walmart, though. Um, they do have some dry beans here if you're into canning. These lentils, they are a good source of protein. You can replace meat with those if you need to. Here you have the spaghetti sauce, um, the pasta noodles. So this box is $167. I don't know how many pounds it is. It looks like it's more than a pound, though. Yeah, this is two pounds. So I guess that's not bad compared to Walmart. Can't gravy. They have these instant potatoes here, which are also good to put when you're baking your own bread. They do have some chicken broth left. They do have some gaps, and they do have, like, empty spaces behind um, well not this one, but behind this one here and behind the beef broth one. But you can make your own broth. You save your bones and do it that way. It'll be a whole lot cheaper. They do have a shortage of the noodles, however. So I don't know about any other Aldi. This Aldi always has limits on their chicken breast. have any limits on their ground beef um, their pork chop is running about 49 a pound four dollars and 89 cent a pound um, but yeah their chicken breast For 29 a pound, and they got drumsticks for two 29 a pound. But that limit right here, you guys, you are going to start seeing more of that. So, you guys. so the flour is still 212, but they don't have that much of it. The sugar is 275. And I don't like this sugar because it's so, it's so hard. Like you literally have to, this one's not that hard, but they usually like, like bricks and you have to put bread in it to try to get it not to be so hard. So I just went into one of my subscribers in here and it was great meeting her and come to find out, I kind of sort of know her because me and my husband used to go to her business all the time when we lived here. Okay, y'all, that store, I didn't see the security guard in there, so that is a plus. Um, maybe things have calmed down with theft up in that store. But y'all, keep stocking up, build your prepper pantry for the next emergency. We don't know when it's going to be. That's why it's called an emergency.